Are you thinking about cruising right now? These are the 10 biggest changes that you are going to see on board. Let's go. everybody is Haley with Haley with a flare.com if you are new here please don't forget to subscribe or follow me over here on social media I am posting fresh travel content from cruising to theme parks to hotels you name it so don't forget to give me a follow this week I am on board Royal Caribbean's Adventure of the Seas it is the first North American cruise for Royal Caribbean to be going out since the pandemic last year and there's a lot of changes that we need to get through First things first, one of the biggest changes you're gonna notice is the check-in process, in particular, e-muster. I will have to say, I hope this change is here to stay. It's wonderful. So the way that e-muster is working is in the app on your phone, you have to watch a short video. And then step two is the sound of the horn so that you know what you're looking for. Then step three is to go to your actual muster station and check in. So when you check in, you can do that at any point in time. You have until roughly before you sail away to do so, but it's a really simple process. I love it. It's so much better than standing on a deck with 60 plus other people crammed in in straight lines. So really excited about that change. Number two, you're going to notice a very big difference in the nightclub dancing scene. So there are still onboard performers. There's a band on board, there's a pub singer, there is a DJ, but it is not your typical elbow to elbow dancing experience. For some of these shows, you have to stay in your section and kind of you can dance from right there, but they do have people out near the dance floors that are open, making sure that people social distance, and don't get too close and crowded. Like last night we were in Studio B, they had different lights on the floor for bubbles, trying to keep people in their own bubble. So that is gonna be a big change. The nightlife isn't quite back to where it used to be, but this is in essence, you know, the starting point. Number three is gonna be show seating. Now you're not entirely always gonna be able to get your party into one section. They have a lot of the seating from the bars to the shows spaced out. There's gonna be little signs and markers saying you can't sit here, you need to move over. And if you even move chairs to a section, some venues do not allow that and you will have to go seat in a, sit in a different section if you're in a bigger party. So keep that in mind. Number four is the buffet. You are going to be served now. You are not reaching in and grabbing your own food. So the Windjammer Buffet is open for breakfast and lunch, not currently for dinner, but they will be serving you. Just tell them what they want. They'll put it on a plate and hand it to you. Number five is going to be, you're going to see all the crew members in masks. That is across the fleet, the ship right now, they are not taking off their masks, but they do have these cute little buttons. So you can actually see what their face looks like. The crew's doing a great job. They just want to make sure you're safe. So don't give them a hard time about wearing their masks. Number six, that's gonna be dining reservations. I talked about this in my dining video. If you wanna see more of the in-depth dining changes, make sure you head over there. But you need to have reservations. If you are on my time dining for the main dining room, you need to have a reservation. Specialty dining, if you can schedule a little bit more in advance, you're gonna find more availability. You can make dining reservations in the app. It's one of my new favorite things to do. I think Royal Caribbean has done a fantastic job with the app but it's wonderful. So make sure you're making those reservations ahead of time. Number seven, there's going to be reduced and limited activities. Unfortunately, you are not gonna find the quest on board currently right now. Um, finish that lyric was kind of split into a broad spectrum so you don't have people going up on the stage back and forth. Karaoke is spaced out. They're wiping off mics in between. So it's not quite the full cruise activity experience, but they've done a really good job at making some cruise favorites like bingo, different trivia shows, uh, safe and socially distanced. Number eight, you're gonna find spaced out pool chairs. I kind of wish this is, <laughs> this is here to stay, but um, for social distancing purposes, you're gonna see loungers and stuff spaced out on the pool deck and all the other traditional seating also with those markers that we talked about earlier. Number nine, we're gonna talk about the enhanced cleaning procedures. It is in your cruise compass that in the wee hours of the morning around 3 a.m., 
the crew goes through and does an extra disinfecting round compared to what they even normally do. I mean, all the railings are wet from bleach and everything else, but they also do a fogging mist to help sanitize and disinfect areas. And that occurs in those wee wee hours of the morning. And number 10, the atmosphere is a little different guys with the modifications in place that we've talked about. You know, if you're a solar cruiser wanting to hop on a cruise for the first time, it's a little more difficult. It's, uh, you know, there's not as many people on board. Socially, you're not meeting as many people. So you just need to have your expectations set that this is gonna be a little bit more laid back th than other cruises. There's gonna be some changes that you need to adapt to. Um, it's just different. And if you want to cruise, you just have to set your expectation there. And, you know, don't give the crew a hard time about the guidelines that are in place. We're trying to get cruising back up and started in a safe way. And we have to do that all together. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop any comments down there. Let me know if you have any questions. Would love to answer this for you. There are other Royal Caribbean videos on my channel and cruising and travel. And if you have any questions, I will try to make a video on that if I can. Make sure you check out YouTube Shorts, TikTok, Instagram. There's even more short tips videos on those channels. Thank you guys so much. Happy sailing and see you later.